Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please normalize identifying as a pelican, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. Bruh. Ah, Thick Man, look at his juicy lips, perfect for kissing mothers with, as in your mother. Haha, <laughs> got him, but no, just kidding. Of course, I'm referring to Saint Mary, mother of Jesus Christ, aka the OG son of a virgin. Today, we'll be pretending to be NPCs again, as I find doing this highly amusing. And to clear any confusion up about how this works, you can pay $12,000 to activate Ghost Organization for three minutes. And this will completely remove your crew's gamer tag and icons from the minimap. This means providing that you behave like NPCs, people will have no reason to think that you're an actual player. Of course, we have to change into some civilian clothing so we look the part. I head into Suburban and the saleswoman says that I'm handsome. Excuse me, but I'm not an object. Please keep it in your pants, young Karen. I purchase myself a red hoodie, which I guess isn't that inconspicuous, but I definitely look more like an NPC than Stealtho Fieldo. And he definitely looks more like an NPC than Stealtho Robbo. I forgot about that strawberry mask he bought. It's so silly, but I think we can all agree that strawberries really are an aphrodisiac. I'd hit that. I go and steal us a boring NPC looking car to give the lads some time to change and well, besides the tactical balaclava and night vision goggles, you can barely tell that we aren't just everyday civilians. So now it's time to pick a target. We notice that there's a dodgy malacca downtown on a bit of a killing spree and it's time he faced the wrath of the boys boys boys. I drive all normal so that he doesn't suspect a thing and then the second we're out of his peripheral vision, we move in. Is this ethical? No, it's definitely not, but neither is stealing from homeless people and we all do that. You've got to admire Fieldo's energy. The body has despawned and yet he's still out there swinging his heart out. I do some deep analytic research, walking among them to investigate and learn the behavior patterns of the NPCs. I'd be surprised if I don't get a Nobel Prize for this work, honestly. I then get myself a new car, but this time with an added surprise for later. Perfect, an unsuspecting player has paused their game, and so I drive up behind them and honk my horn. This triggers them to drive away quickly, and did they really just get bullied by an NPC? I'm your daddy now. They then try to enter the casino, but with only seconds left before I'm back on the radar, I do perhaps the bravest thing I've ever done in my life. I detonate my car, heroically taking my own life to stop these good men from gambling their money away. You're welcome. I find two more players and I just keep driving past their house in the same car to see if they notice. They don't notice and so I decide to see how far I can push it. This is actually my house too and there's always an NPC standing around here smoking. I become that NPC. This woman exits her house and I'm pretty sure she doesn't have a clue that I'm a player. Either that or she just doesn't care. I just want to feel wanted. I continue my new life as a bot. And honestly, no one can tell as who would be expecting this. I decide to stalk this guy in a van for a while as he certainly has an aggressive charm about him. He's busy running over a green alien and I just play it nice and cool, watching from the shadows and honestly, I just can't believe my eyes. This man is running the alien over repeatedly and although I'm pretty sure the meme is dead now, I was once a green alien and I'll always be there for my boys. One thing you should know about me is that basically any car I drive is also a bomb. Get pranked. I pick up Stealth Omato who's got himself a snappy suit but as he's getting into the car he punches a fellow bot. Excuse me mate, but that's our brother now and you will show him respect. Wait, the intro clip of this video is just me running down dozens of NPCs. Whatever, I'm a guy who posts stuff on the internet from his bedroom. It's almost expected that I'll contradict myself frequently. As I'm grabbing a suitable car, the guy Mato punched chases him down and if you're under the age of 65, please look away. There are some things you can't unsee, like this and your uncle's peenie. 
We locate two big truck boys near Los Santos Customs, and I'm aware civilians don't really drive down here, but we're pioneers doing what others are scared to do. We drink water out of teacups. We host strip poker tournaments at daycare centers, and when we ask for nudes, we never say thank you because no one ever sends us any. Unfortunately, our small sticks are no match for these big girls, who would have guessed? At this point, I think they may also be suspicious that we're not in fact NPCs. Mato proceeds to get run over several times, it's quite brutal to watch, but let's be honest, he deserves it. We then decide we best further research the daily routines of these mysterious creatures. And so we pick this group of intellectuals, but no, truck boys are back. They actually don't seem very hostile, which is good, and then they take off their shirts. It doesn't take long before we're all shirtless, just standing in the street together. Getting semi-naked with dudes you just met is the fastest way to become best friends forever, I guess. It turns out they're green aliens too, and so we decide to whip out our costumes again. What do you mean, dead meme? One thing leads to another, and we all start making out. I mean, beating this guy's car who came to say hello. Imagine noticing a YouTuber is in your server, and so you're like, oh, okay, I'll come say good day to this guy, and he proceeds to just beat your car with his boys. I imagine meeting me in a video game is incredibly underwhelming and disappointing, but hey, at least we didn't kill him. Kidding, we did. The pack mentality is incredibly toxic. I did message thanking him for the support though, and I mean it, what a legend. I'm so thankful for the community that I've got around this channel. Jokes aside, I love it when you guys come up to me and mess around and do random things, and then I can put that in the video, it's cool. BRB crying emotional happy tears. Anyway, I then remember you can do this thing where you attach sticky bombs to other players. It allows you to have the power over them. You become somewhat of a god and you get to decide if they live or die at any given moment. I pick this moment. This is actually one of my favorite tricks because the game is third person, so they see that you've attached a sticky bomb to them. Like my boy here kills Mato, so I just detonate the bomb and he has to instantly atone for his sins. Good night, sweet prince. The big truck boys and Mato and I enjoy some quality time in the hot tub. There was like so many girls that joined us, my recording software just glitched, but yeah, so many hot girls were here with us, I promise. Yeah, but basically this lobby has entered a new level of hostility. We now have pilots who I'm pretty sure fly for their nation's air forces, carrying out strafing runs on our position as soon as we spawn in. I can't say we don't deserve this though, and quite frankly it's pretty impressive how accurate he is. Anyway, ironically, as I'm getting slapped right now, the whole premise of this series is to become the kingpin of Los Santos. I think I just need to have a little recap as much for my benefit as yours, just to see how far we've come over the last year or so. So this was the first apartment we ever got. It has a lot of sentimental value, but also if you sit down, you'll almost definitely contract some kind of tropical disease. We then purchased an inner city apartment that is honestly quite nice, but I didn't realize it had a view of a construction site. At least it's kind of metaphorical, I guess, like I'm always trying to build up. My collection of questionable anime that if found would probably land me in prison. I've then obviously got my main mansion that I spawn in these days. I've got my Deluxo that I fortunately won on the casino wheel. Seriously, that was a lucky play. We've got the yacht, Moby Thick. This was 100% a pointless flex purchase and the captain is the most cooked cobber I've ever met. Where are you sailing, bro? This ship hasn't moved in like two months. With both hands on the steering wheel at all times, I guess you've got to admire the old fella's dedication. I've got the nightclub, which again, questionable purchase, but it reads well on my resume. We've got the office building, which reminds me of my $250,000 spelling mistake every time I walk in. This is my executive assistant, Hot Karen. Not sure what she does all day, the place is a mess. Seriously, how hard is it to hang up a couple of pictures? We've got the motorcycle clubhouse and of course, Junkie Karen, the bartender. The bathroom here is absolutely disgusting, but at least the paper towels are always stocked. Hot Karen could learn a thing or two from Junkie Karen. We've got a literal military bunker for some reason. I mainly got this so I could weaponize the Deluxo. It was a really expensive process. Of course, there's the laundry detergent workshop and the new tomato farm that's really popping up. 
We've also got some nice sports cars and yeah, we've actually built up quite a lot of things, the problem is they're not being properly utilised. The bunker, the office, the nightclub and the narcotics operation need to be nurtured better and upgraded. I also want to expand into new businesses such as money laundering. I want military vehicles like jets and tanks, a facility and an Avenger. Basically we've made good progress but still have a long way to go. I'm then destroyed by a player on a flying motorbike. You know what, this time I'll let him have his fun and turn the other cheek. Of course I don't mean that and I proceed to hunt him down and destroy him and his little motorbike. As he attacked first, it's only fair that I get him back numerous times. Check this little flick missile shot I've been doing. Get wrecked. Did I really just flex a kill in which I was in a flying car while he stood helplessly on the ground? Yes, yes I did. I can't just murder him all day though, as Marto and I have business to attend to. We need to resupply the coke factory, and what better way to get supplies than steal from the lost biker gang. They're hanging out at a fancy nightclub, and they look way different than I would have imagined, but hey it's 2020, I should open my eyes. We get it done, and then this gamer girl comes out of nowhere, and I think I might be in love lads and lasses. I salute her, which shows that I care, and then I can't help myself, and I attach a sticky bomb to her back. She's not going to let no handsome, funny, athletic, intelligent white boy tell her how to live her life though, and she ends herself. Well played. I head back to the Deluxo so we can continue resupplying the lab, and she murders both of us in cold blood. I'm getting mixed feelings from this woman who's almost definitely a teenage boy. As we're flying away, I hear that she's locking onto us and so I give her the little deluxo special. Enjoy that you toxic hater, oh my god I read my text messages and she says I love you. She also then says, I'm a real woman my G. I don't know much about women but that seems like something they would definitely 100% certainly say. We deliver the final supplies so that they can start making the good stuff and look who's still here. My new hopefully e-girlfriend. She's a bit taller than me which for now is fine, but I'm sure over the years will drive me into a deep insecurity. I decide to conduct a social experiment to truly test if this player is a woman or not. She hops into my car and I fly out a long way into the ocean and then empty all the passengers out. Now this may seem harsh, but if she's actually a girl she'll forgive me, and if it's a guy he'll obviously kill me. And to my absolute surprise she forgives me, and the realisation sinks in that I may have just found my life partner. All of a sudden, she has brought a bunch of her friends around to the beach and it's getting really steamy. I think I might be actually making group love GTA Online style right now, I really don't know. It's time to find out which one of these lucky ladies will be the one in the only reasonable way I can think of. The Bachelor Shotgun Edition. Obviously not you as you have glasses and that's my thing. Obviously not you either as I can't even see your face and that's a gamble I don't want to take. You might be thinking, oh it must be her, she's perfect for you. But no, not today, because I pick Stealth Omato. He's my bro, and will forever be my first choice. And Chapo McMacko proceeds to gun us both down. I understand her frustration as we were perfect for each other, but Stealth Omato stole my heart many years ago. Thanks for watching you absolute legends, and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.